All right, so now we're going to go over a lick we uh, practiced before in class, and here is the lick. Okay, and uh, here it comes again. So make, listen to this lick several times before you even try to play it. So three, four. Then we go five, two, one. And we're noting the uh, second string, third fret. So here we go. All right, there's the lick. So when you're first learning a lick like that, you get it in your head, you play it once, and you try to play it perfectly the first time. Once you've done that, then you play it five times. If you miss it, then you have to start all over. And I'll just simulate that. So let's assume we're playing this lick. Okay, so three, four. And you interrupt each time, too. Oh, disengage. Do it again. Okay, let's say you screw it up. All right, got to start over. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So once you learn it, then the way that it goes in the song, you play it three times. So it's three, four. Do that again. Three, four. All right. Now, if you are unclear and are the, if the notes aren't perfectly clear, if there's any problems. Go back and drill the lick or the measure. So it's three, four. Pause. Okay, do it again. Three, four. So you practice that until you can play it three times in a row in the song perfectly. So let's try three, four. Now, uh, I will show you a, uh, a second lick, and here's how the second lick goes. It starts out just like lick number one, and, and uh, in other words, it goes. Then you uh, continue the roll. You do a pull-off from the third fret to the second fret on the third string. And then you do a slide. So let's try that again. Three, four. Okay, we play the fifth string. I pull off from the third to the second fret on the third string, first string. Then we do a slide from the fourth string, third fret. Okay, so I'll play it a little faster. Three, four. So this is how that sounds kind of slow within the context of the song. Three, four. And so on and so forth. So here, let's try it again. Three, four. doing this hammer on after this lick you I mean this particular note you can slide into the four string second fret or you can do a hammer on okay so I'll do it with a hammer on so
and sometimes it's easier to do the hammer on because after the slide, your hand's right up here. So when you lift it up, it's much easier to do that than to have to lift it up and go all the way here, position both those finger, fingers and slide. Does that make sense? So this is a, let's say, and you can even notice how this finger's not down. So you do the hammer on, then you move the uh, ring finger down to note the first string, second fret. All right, so here's what this sounds like as a break in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Three, four. Okay, yeah, learn that and then I'll, I'll uh, teach you another thing similar where you're going, uh, in other, you're playing like as. You can add one note and go. By adding one note, you can get a lot more drive. All right, that's it uh, for this and we'll, uh, Call this lick number one and two in Foggy Mountain Breakdown.